The National Assembly's Public Accounts Committee wants the IEBC disbanded and criminal proceedings instituted on both serving and former commissioners. The Opio Wandai-led committee says in an audit report that IEBC commissioners, including the chairman, were involved in tender wars that led to the bungling of the 2017 general elections. Sam Magina has the details of the damning audit report. In its audit report on the electoral agency's handling of the 2017 general election and subsequent October 2017 repeat presidential election, the National Assembly's Public Accounts Committee says the fallout at the commission after the election cannot guarantee the existence of the commission even for another day that IEBC should be disbanded. The committee wants a probe into the conduct of the current and former commissioners with a view of pressing for criminal prosecution should culpability be proven. In its audit report, PSC has trained its guns on IEBC Chairman of Fulachi Bukati, its former Vice Chair, Consulat Nkatha, and Commissioners Margaret Mochanya, Professor Abdi Gulie, Boya Molu, and Ambassador Paul Krugat. Already, Krugat, Mochanya, and Nkatha resigned from the Commission. The committee finding the Commissioners at fault and in conflict of interest for holding brief for companies bidding for tenders at the Commission. As such, PSC says the Commission was embroiled in tender wars that compromised the 2017 general election. IEBC Chairman Wafula Chebukati has been indicted in the audit report for alleged conflict of interest. That while as Chairman, the Commission would give cases to a law firm that Chebukati founded but he never disclosed conflict of interest. On the part of the ousted former IEBC chief executive officer, Ezra Chiloba, the audit report once him investigated for unprocedurally signing off over 4 billion shillings worth of contracts for IEBC without contractors providing performance guarantees. PSC recommending that Chiloba be further investigated and he found culpable criminal proceedings to be instituted against him. Sam Genesis TV, Nairobi.